So in this lecture, we're going to be looking at seven words connected with art. And here are the seven words. Aesthetic, depict, genre, icon, vivid, portrait and sculpture. So the first word is aesthetic. Aesthetic. An aesthetic thing looks good. It's pleasing to the eye. Uh, it doesn't have to be beautiful, but it's kind of well put together. People appreciate it for the style. Uh, here is, to me anyway, some aesthetic art. It's nicely put together. The, the colours go well together. Uh, but aesthetic also goes with things like housing and architecture. So we chose this furniture for its aesthetic appeal. You know, it looked nice. Went well with the painting. The bridge is aesthetically appealing. Monet's paintings are aesthetically pleasing. So we talk a lot about aesthetic quality, aesthetic value. Things are aesthetically pleasing. We talk about aesthetic appeal. Aesthetic. Aesthetically is the adverb form of the adjective. Some synonyms are artistic, creative, pleasing, artful. And here's the next word, depict. Depict. This means show. So if you depict somebody or something, you show it. Often in an an artistic or, um, or or sometimes in writing as well, or in, even in a movie or a photo. So it can be art, but it doesn't have to be. So this, this painting depicts a lighthouse and some seagulls. It's very aesthetic as well, depict. And at the end, you can see the part of the word picture, of course. So remember, so remember about pictures, the painting depicts the Battle of Waterloo. St. Nicholas is often depicted as Father Christmas. And the government tried to depict the protesters as violent. Now, this is more to do with describing people or characterising. They characterised the protesters as violent. So it's a slightly different meaning of the words depict from the other two. Here are some collocations depict in, depict as, depict a scene, depict life. And some forms here for depict, depicts, depicting, depicted. Depiction is the noun form. And some synonyms for depict. Show, illustrate, Characterize and describe, portray, represent. Here's your next word, which is a difficult one to pronounce. People get this wrong a lot. You say genre, genre, z, which is a difficult, not a common sound in English, genre. It means a particular type of art or music or literature or movie, a type, a kind of something. The word actually comes from Latin, a gens or gens is a Latin word meaning family. That's where the word genetics also comes from. Um, horror movies are a consistently popular genre. The uniformity of Facebook games is probably a sign of the genre's infancy. Unlike other books in its... Unlike other recent books in its genre, Unspeakable Things is markedly uninterested in converting its readers. It's comparing the book to other books in the genre. You can have a literary genre... It's a type of book, an artistic genre. Some verbs that go with genre quite commonly are invent and spawn. So invent is you create a genre. Spawn is you 
you make it more popular, you spread the genre. Uh, genre is a noun, so the only real form is genres, to make it a plural. Some synonyms for genre type, kind, family, brand, style, and class. Class. Here's your next word, icon. Icon. So you pronounce it with an I, I at the start, icon. An icon is a symbol. It can be an object, it could even be a person, but it, it's something that symbolises or represents an idea. Uh, originally it's to do with religion, but it doesn't have to be. So, for example, Elvis Presley was a cultural icon. You know, he represented the rock and roll era. Some more examples. The painting of Mary is a famous religious icon. David Beckham is, well he was, as much a fashion icon as a football player. And J.K. Rowling is an icon for young female writers. She's a kind of symbol for what some people want to become. So we often have a religious icon or a cultural icon or a sporting icon. We can also use icon as an adjective. So, for example, iconic status. It's a noun, so you can have icons. But, and again, here's the adjective iconic. And some synonyms, symbol, legend, idol, idol. Elvis Presley was a rock and roll idol. Vivid is your next word, vivid. If you describe memories and descriptions as vivid, then they are very clear and very detailed. Colours can also be vivid if they're bright and clear and stand out. So vivid things kind of stand out like this fro I think it's a frog. This frog. It has very vivid colours. It's a vividly coloured frog. And here are some more examples. His poems are full of vivid imagery. Her paintings are characterised by vivid colours. And the last one, to tell that story, requires a vivid summary of day-to-day -day events. It needs to be detailed. So you have a vivid, vivid memory. If you remember things with lots of details, vivid picture, vivid imagination, a vivid colour. So it's an adjective, vivid, so we can turn it into an adverb, vividly. And some synonyms for vivid, intense, intense colours, powerful, detailed, brilliant, colourful. Memorable. I've, I've, okay. And the next word is portrait. Portrait. A portrait is a painting or a photograph of a person. And it usually focuses on the face or from the neck and shoulders upwards. So here's a portrait of a young girl. Uh, he was asked to paint a portrait of the queen. A self-portrait is a painting that you make of yourself and his biography provides a fascinating portrait of the 19th century politician Gladstone. So here, portrait is to do not with a picture but some writing. We talk about portrait of a lot. Paint a portrait. If you want to look at portraits, you can go to a portrait gallery like the one in Trafalgar Square in London, and you can make a self-portrait. And it's, an, it's, a, it's a noun, so portraits is the plural. And some synonyms for portrait, painting, representation, depiction, account, characterization, and likeness. Here's your next word, sculpture. 
sculpture. Uh, a sculpture is a it's a work of art produced by usually by shaping a material like metal, clay, stone or wood into a shape of some kind. It can be anything. So here for example is a sculpture of a boat in Reykjavik in Iceland. But they can be abstract too. Uh, here's an abstract uh, sculpture in, I believe, New York. But you can also have a sculpture of a person or an animal. So here's a sculpture of a person. A uh, sculpture of, of people or animals can also be called statue. So this is a sculpture and it's a statue. But the previous two sculptures, you, you can only call them sculptures, not statues. So a statue is a person or an animal. Sculpture can be anything. So the park was full of sculptures of animals and people. The museum contains a collection of ancient Greeks, Greek sculptures. The college offers courses in sculpture and painting. So you can carve a sculpture unveil a sculpture, make a sculpture, and common preposition is sculpture by, by somebody. So sculptures, it can also be used sculpture as a verb. You can, uh, he was sculpturing the statue, for example, sculptured. And a person who makes a sculpture is a sculptor, sculptor. And some synonyms for sculpture, carve, form, chisel. Chisel is something you often do out of stone, fashion, and shape. Fashion here means if you fashion something with your hands, usually, and model. So there are your seven art words, aesthetic, depict, genre, icon, vivid, portrait, and sculpture.